Axel Annie. In the town of Burskyville, the luckiest kids rode on Axel Annie's school bus. Axel Annie did magic tricks. She told jokes and sang silly songs. The kids couldn't wait to see her every morning and hear her cheerful call. Get on up these steps before I leave without you. Winter packed a wallop in Burskyville. Whenever a storm came up, the superintendent of schools, Mr. Solomon, telephoned Axel Annie. It's nasty out there, Annie, he'd say. Think you can make it up Tiger Hill? If you say no, I'll close the schools. My decision depends on you. Tiger Hill was on Axel Annie's bus route. It was the toughest hill in Burskyville, but Axel Annie's reply was always the same. Mr. Solomon, do snow plows plow? Do tow trucks tow? Are school buses yellow? Of course I can make it up Tiger Hill. And she always did. That's why the schools in Burskyville never had a snow day. Shifty Rhodes hated that. Shifty was the nastiest school bus driver in Burskyville. At every meeting of the Grouch and Grump Club, Shifty complained about his job, especially in winter. He grumbled about having to get up early to warm up his bus. He fussed about trucks sloshing slush all over his windshield. He belly ached about boots that made puddles on the bus. And I never, ever get a snow day, he always said, all because of that Axel Annie. One rip-roaring winter morning, Axel Annie's phone rang. It's a blizzard out there, Annie, the superintendent said. Think you can make it up Tiger Hill? If you say no, I'll close the schools. My decision depends on you. Mr. Solomon, Axel Annie replied, do snow plows plow? Do tow trucks tow? Are school buses yellow? Of course I can make it up Tiger Hill. Shifty Rhodes was still in bed. And now for the school closings, announced his radio. Every town in the five county area has closed its schools, except for one. And that's, don't say Burskyville, pleaded Shifty. Burskyville, said the radio. Well, because of Axel Annie, grumbled Shifty. He bundled up and headed for his bus. Axel Annie was already on her way. When Tiger Hill loomed ahead, she called out, hold on to your earmuffs. Gun the engine, shouted the kids. Put your pedal to the metal. Axel Annie did, and she roared up Tiger Hill, past all the ditched vehicles and stranded drivers. At the top, she stopped as usual and called back to the snowbound drivers. Get on up these steps before I leave without you. They rode along with the kids to school where they telephoned for tow trucks to pull their cars out of the snow. Of course, Shifty Rhodes was in a terrible mood that morning. When the kids on his bus got the least bit noisy, he yelled, you drive me crazy and the kids yelled back. You're the one that's driving, not us. Shifty was still mad when he ventured out that night to the Grouch and Grump Club. But then a miracle happened. A new member introduced himself. The name's Hale Snow. Snow's my name and snow's my game. Hale explained that he was the new owner of the Burskyville Ski Resort. Business is bad, he grumbled. 
I even bought a new snowmaking machine, but who needs it? It just sits on my truck like a bamboozled bump on a blizzard blasted log. The best days for me should be snow days when kids head for the slopes because school's closed. But the snow blasted schools here never close. After the meeting, shifty roads collared hail snow. You know why we never get a snow day, he asked. Axel Annie, that's why. And Shifty told Hale all about Axel Annie and Tiger Hill. Snarling snowflakes, exclaimed Hale. There must be something we can do. Maybe there is, said Shifty, with that snowmaking machine of yours. I get your drift, said Hale. Just say the word and I'll haul my machine over to Tiger Hill. We'll womp up such a storm there, not even Axel Annie will make it up the hill. Whoop-de-doo, cheered Shifty. The very next Monday morning, Axel Annie's telephone rang. Annie, said Mr. Solomon, it's the storm of the century. Think you can make it up Tiger Hill? If you say no, I'll close the schools. My decision depends on you. Mr. Solomon, replied Axel Annie, do snow plows plow? Do tow trucks tow? Are school buses yellow? Of course I can make it up Tiger Hill. Meanwhile, Shifty Rhodes was peering outside into howling whiteness. Yippee, he shouted and telephoned Hail Snow. No school in its right mind should be open today. It's a wing dinger of a storm, Hale agreed, and my machine will make it 10 times as bad on Tiger Hill. Axel Annie will never make it up. Meet me there and watch the fun for yourself. Icy snow stung Shifty's face as he plodded to his bus. Finally, he revved up the engine and drove into the storm. Shifty's bus slithered and slid its way to Tiger Hill. Suddenly, Shifty caught sight of something in the road. He leaned on the brakes, but the bus skidded and bucked and plowed right into whatever it was. Sled bustin' snowflakes, Shifty, hollered Hail Snow. You clobbered my snowmaking machine. Shifty apologized, but he couldn't feel too bad. Hail Snow's machine had turned Tiger Hill into a monstrous mountain of swirling snow. As Axel Annie's bus approached Tiger Hill, the kids yelled, yikes, hold on to your earmuffs, Annie called. Gun the engine, Annie, shouted the kids. Put the pedal to the metal. Axel Annie tried, but near the top of the snowy hill, the wheels spun, the engine strained, the bus was stuck. You can do it, Annie, the kids yelled. But for the first time ever, Annie wasn't sure she could. Would the Burskyville schools close after all? Then suddenly, the bus seemed to sprout wings. Slowly and gently, it glided up, up, up to the top of Tiger Hill. Hooray, shouted the kids. Axel Annie looked around. It wasn't wings that she saw. It was all the stranded drivers that Annie had helped so many times before. Thanks a million, shouted Annie. Now get on up these steps before I leave without you. Then Annie looked again and saw two snowmen trudging up the hill. Shifty roads and hail snow. 
When Annie saw the mangled snowmaking machine down below, their whole mean plot came to her in a flash. Axel Annie gunned her engine, but Shifty and Hale looked so miserable, she couldn't be mad. Oh, get on up these steps, she called. Before we leave without you, yelled the kids. Shifty Rhodes had to pay all the money in his piggy bank to fix his school bus and the snowmaking machine. Then he skedaddled out of town and got a job on a cruise ship. Hale Snow was sorry he'd ever gotten mixed up with Shifty Rhodes. He thought Axel Annie was one humdinger of a woman. In fact, his business doubled when he named a new ski slope after her. Whenever kids headed for that steep and scary slope, they asked each other, think we can make it down okay? The answer was always the same. Do snow plows plow? Do tow trucks tow? Are school buses yellow? Of course we can make it down Axel Annie Slope. And they usually did. The end. Good night, Sophie. Good night, Sammy.